Now the agent is asking, they came in two hours late. Now she's asking the officer to assist us because people with ticket that should have been ticketed an hour ago just here. So now the police are stepping in. And I just, and, and this is chaotic right here in Abaco because uh, the agent just came on the plane two hours late. Now they're trying to police the police the people when everybody been standing here for two hours can't get on the flight and the agent just arrived and what's happening here what what's happening what's happening here is that uh, this is the only airport in the world that doesn't have a seat. People can't even sit down here in this airport because uh, one manager took all the seating out of here. So you have to stand up. You might be standing up here from 6 o'clock this morning to now. So that means Bahamas are going to be on the ground another hour before she check these people in and give these people some seating. Uh, and this is Christmas time. This is unacceptable. And I hope that somebody in authority, this way Kai step in, you know, as a strong member of parliament. Once I got that call from Abaco, say, Kai, there is no ticket agent here and your people that went through category five is still suffering because of the mismanagement of Bahamas Air. Kai would have made that call and to make sure that this doesn't happen again during the season. But we have people that have been here for three hours and they gotta wait another hour before they check in and that's made another two hours before they get in Nassau just because of the bad management of Bahamas Air. You're here live in the Marshall International Airport where there's no seating for people to sit down and the plane is two hours late and you got to wait another hour to check in. You're here live on WCAY.